The scheduler feature makes it easy for you to automate playback of media inside Pro Video Player. It also allows you to add recurring playback on a daily or a weekly basis. The first thing we need to do is create a playlist of media that we want our scheduler to play back. So let's go down to the gear icon, create a new playlist. We're going to name this playlist our loop. And then I'm going to go down, I'm going to find a finder window here that I have four different announcement stills and I'm going to drop that inside Pro Video Player. Now we can drag select these, right click and go to playback behavior. We're going to change this from its default of stop to next. What this is going to do is it's going to tell each queue to automatically go to the next one and our last queue will loop back to the beginning. By default, still images show for 5 seconds, but you can easily change this by going to Pro Video Player 2, Preferences, under the General tab you'll see a image duration and we can change that at any time. Now that we have our loop set up, we can leverage the power of Scheduler to play back the content. To view the Scheduler, we can go to View, Scheduler, You'll notice that we have events, schedules, and actions, and let's look at how all of these work together to play back your content. The first thing we need to do is create a schedule. So I'm going to hit the Add New button, and we're going to call this our Daily Schedule. Then you'll see that it's automatically created an action, and all we need to do is select which playlist we want played back. So we're going to play back our Loop playlist, and then we can go in and select a time that we want this played back. So I'm going to change this to 8 a.m. and we can hit the up or down keys to switch from p.m. to a.m. Now we have the option to add in more actions into our schedule. We can have as many as we want playing back throughout the day. So if we wanted different content played during the lunch hour, we could just add in a new action, select our playlist, and set a time. Now that our schedule is done, we can go in and create an event to trigger that schedule. So I'm going to create a new event, and up here you're going to see a couple different options. The first is the schedule. This correlates to all of our schedules down here, so I'm going to click here and choose daily. Next we can say what date we want this triggered and at what time. So maybe we want this triggered every morning at 7 a.m. So we'll hit the down key to switch to a.m. And then we can choose whether or not we want this to repeat. So we have none every day or every week. Since this is a schedule that we want on a daily basis, we're going to select every day. Now if we had different content we wanted, let's say, played on the weekends versus weekdays, we can easily go in and add more events that schedule different schedules that have different actions of different playlists, which gives you a lot of power to play back different content at different times. So now when we close this out, You'll notice the stopwatch uh, icon shows up here telling us that we have a schedule running. Our content has started to play back and you can see it's waiting five seconds to transition to the different uh, image queues. And once it goes to this last queue, it's going to automatically loop right back to the beginning.